a new Ninth Edge battle, undying dynasties are appearing from out of the earth, with two battle things, Shabdis on the flank, great vultures, chariots, more great vultures, and the two hierophants are in an archer unit. The same crazy goblin list is lining up, drop it, dropping everything first. It's a new and circle battle, and the objectives are King of the Hill. The Undying Dynasties will somehow try to get this hill, which the orcs and goblins are ensconced on. The field is the goblins objective to try to capture. The goblins go first. The goblin lines look eerily, similarly chaotic. They just move straight ahead pretty much. Putting up a difficult situation for the chariots if they choose to charge. And the compact Undying Dynasties army is now on the defensive, at least initially. Will they find a, a way to capitalize on their corner here before the goblins come up? There are some powerful monsters in play. Uh, the Green Idol, not that powerful, but uh, it has crush attack. And both it and the Sphinx have 8 toughness. And they're lining up straight against each other so far. Oh, the, the Sphinx have a die up their sleeve. We'll keep an eye on this lucky die. The Undying Dynasties choose to charge with all the Vultures, the Shabtis, the Battle Sphinx, the Cherries, and everything gets in. So this is a contact sport. The Cherries on their charge ate through two of the Trolls. They auto-broke, and the overrun of the Cherries was into the Wolf Riders. A good first move by the Tomb Kings. The two battle sphinx killed the green idol. The green idol did a crush attack. As he fell backwards, he pirouetted it around and fell backwards onto one of the sphinxes, crushing it and doing four wounds. They overrun, get into the wolf riders, but the other sphinx does not get into the goblin king. The Goblin King is shivering, fearless, and uh, very happy. The Great Vultures fall down to the last one and crumble. The Trolls are free against the Shabti unit with Flaming Banner. The Trolls have never heard of flames, they're charging. <laughs> On the Goblin turn 2, the Fanatics were released strategically. Through the combat here, killing a couple of wounds of the Chariots, also doing a wound to the giant, doing a wound to the scrap wagon, but not taking the last wound of the battle phoenix. The battle phoenix didn't get to, to hit, the chariots killed five wolf riders, because three wolf riders had been killed by the fanatics. Very strategic for the combat res. That means this combat was a draw. The scrap wagon did some wounds to the chariots, the giants, the giant missed its most of the attacks, but did three wounds or something. And it was a draw in total. The battle sphinxes are in a bad position because of the fanatics there. In the battle between the Shabtis and the trolls, the general was challenged by a Shabti, losing one wound, doing a couple in return. But the Shabtis flopped completely with their attacks. Despite their flaming banner, they did almost nothing to the trolls, and the trolls won the combat, crumbling a couple of shanties. Now, on turn two, will the great vultures kill the fanatics and themselves? What a tragedy! Oh no! So took a two wounds for Pampangen, and so did one wound for In the central combat, two chariots crumbled. The giant lost one wound, and the scrap wagon lost one wound. There's one chariot with two wounds remaining. Other than that, in the Shabti troll fight, the trolls stood and fought. They have 
thrown down the terrible dice so far, as have the Shabtis, but the Shabtis have the flaming banner. So they killed a couple of trolls this round. The troll stood, but the Goblin King of course fled, seeing that this was not good. He rallied the next round in Goblin turn 3. The Goblin unit panicked, seeing the general panic in, but he said, no, this is a tactical retreat, and they rallied as well. <laughs> The trolls lose two more members of their troop and flee. The giant kills the last chariot, but it's now facing a dangerous charge from the Sphinx. The Sphinx will hit hard on its charge. Nothing is uh, determined yet, but as per the whole battle, Throughout, the Undying Dynasties are actually on the offensive and have the upper hand and, and initiative. On turn 3, the Undying Dynasties caused terror all around. The fear test fails for the goblins which were around here. They flee from the Shad Shabtis which charge them. The trolls make the slow retreat as the goblins flee past them. The other goblins here fail their steadfast leadership test against the Sphinx, losing 10 goblins. By the way, these goblins have lost 12 goblins as well, signified by die. And now it's Orcan Goblin turn 2, and they're taking the offensive. Half of their army is dead, the remaining Half of the half is fleeing and they're taking the offensive. Watch them. The central field of battle is being deserted. The ra rallying goblins here are ready to be charged by the Sphinx in the Yandain Dynasties turn 4. The goblins and trolls run out. The goblins first when the Shabtis charge them in the Undying Dynasty's turn 4. And the Squig King, Goblin, the Giant and the Fanatic are closing in on the Hero Fence unit. These cave goblins were eaten after failing their steadfast leadership 4, failing their fair test as well, therefore 4 against the Battle Sphinx. So the Sphinxes and Shabtis are owning the battlefield, empty of goblins. On this side, however, we have a giant and the Goblin King with one wound, threatening the General's unit. And uh, the Skeleton Archers chose to shoot down the Fanatic. It was arguably the most dangerous unit on the battlefield here. Now, turn 5, goblins. Short recap, the giant dies in battle against the Battle Sphinx, which came in to save the Shabti archers. The hero fant died, but pretty much nothing crumbled. Then uh, the goblin king, after uh, killing the hero fant, charged into the Shabti archers, finishing them off, and then was charged by the Battle Sphinx here. These uh, Shabtis are uh, holding the objective. Sorry, it was Skeleton Archers, I don't think they're called Shabti Archers. The Goblin King is finally killed, and the Undying Dynasties establish the Kingdom of the Undeath.